So in the last video, I screwed up really big time. Will I do it again in this video? You'll have to wait and see. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're building the Texas Twister rocket. Um, in our last video, I put the launch lugs on the wrong uh, line. I put them on the, the fin line, and it shouldn't have been on the fin line. Um, so hopefully I got all the screw-ups out of the way. Um, we're going to glue the fins on. Um, and the fins will be glued on 3 16 from the edge of the, um, from this joint line. So that's right here. So here's my tick mark. There's a tick mark. And we're going to glue just the fin, not the flap. We don't want to put any glue on the flap. And that's why we sanded the flap down just a little bit. Um, just to make sure that we don't accidentally glue it to the tube because we need it to hinge upward like that. I'm going to use uh, thick super glue on this. So I'm just putting it on the fin line. I probably have too much on there. If you get too much on, then it doesn't want to grab. So I'm going to take a bunch of it off. Um, and I'm going to start by putting the front edge of the fin down on the tick line and then walking it down like that. So I'm looking at the front and the back to make sure that it's on the line. Um, and then I want to make sure that it's straight up and down on the tube, which it is. Um, then I can put a a fillet of glue on there. Okay, and I have some super glue accelerator here. Just a little bit. I want to wipe it off because um, I'm going to put the next fin down and I don't want it to grab so fast. That makes it uh, uh, cure almost instantly. So let's do the next fin. Again, the technique is you put the front down and then you walk the rear end down. My line is not very dark on that bottom one. So I need to redraw it. That's better. I can see it. Okay, I'm looking down the the tube to make sure it's nice and straight from the tube. And I'll put the, the glue fillet on. Okay. Okay, and this will be the last one. Okay, I like that. This will be my fillet. Okay, now those are on. Um, our next step is to take the flap hold down ring, and that's this little plastic piece. 
Um, you could either go this way or this way, but that's the wrong way. We want um, the small tabs to go rearward on the rocket. So when it's glued on, it'll be like that. Um, so push the tube all the way up as far forward as it will go. Um, and that's where it, we want to glue it in place. Um, hopefully it's near that, um, that line that we made on there earlier. So I'm just going to put a line of glue around the perimeter. And then push the tube all the way forward like that. And if we do this right, um, the flaps will rest up against the, the wide side. And we push it in, it'll be just like that. And that's what holds the flaps from rotating. Now this back edge here is used to hold the rocket and motor in. So when you put the rocket motor in, um, it's going to stop up, up against that engine block that we had previously. Um, and when you prep this for flight, you take a piece of tape and you just tape it down like that. And you trim off any excess tape that hangs over the back edge of the motor. Just like that. Okay, um, we're pretty much done. I'm, I'm actually getting it prepped for flight. Um, but at this point, you can start painting the rocket. And what I would do is make sure you don't get any paint on this tube right here between the back edge of the rocket and the front edge of the, the ring. Um, otherwise, that's going to make prevent the piston from sliding back and forth. Um, you might also make sure you don't get any glue or paint on the centering ring on the inside. So either push it all the way forward or pull it all the way out so that no paint gets on that ring. Then you can paint the entire rocket any color you want. There's a water slide decal that you can put on the rocket too. Uh, when you're ready for flight, take three of the, your little rubber bands and we sell these little orthodontic rubber bands and we have extras um, you can buy from us. We sell them in a six pack. Um, they're on the Apogee website. Um, but you'll take, there's some that come in the kit. You'll take one of those and you'll stretch it across the flaps. You'll do one on each of the flaps. See how they're all canted over? That's exactly what you want. So to get it ready for flight, you push them up like this. This is the tricky part and you hold it and then you rotate the uh, you can rotate the tube around like this what you want to do is you want to get the, the the wide flap to catch the edge like that of the tab and you want to do that all on all three of them so pull it out push that down and then rotate it around like that until they all catch and then slide it all the way forward and that's the fins are now locked into place. So during launch the rocket goes up like this the flaps are straight. At ejection what happens is the ejection charge goes off and it pressurizes this part of the rocket. Since the nose cone is glued on that pressure builds up and what it does is it pushes the piston rearward like that which releases the tabs that can't over and then the exhaust comes out these little holes here and so that the rocket doesn't uh, blow itself apart. Um, so then the rocket tilts over and then it will start spinning on its own as it comes down like this. So that's the Texas Twister and how to build it. I hope you enjoyed this series. I love making this rocket. Um, as I said, this was one of my original designs for Apogee Components when I first started the company. Uh, my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light and the skies be blue and may all your rockets fly straight and true.